So a lot happened Friday afternoon leading into the weekend, which then left a lot of people asking a whole lot of questions surrounding Aaron Jones. Is he going to be with the Packers this upcoming season? Guys, I'm going to cover that in this video. Before I jump into it, if you like the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so Tom Silverstein does a good job covering the Green Bay Packers. He just happened to, you know, he made a mistake. He misrepresented the situation surrounding Aaron Jones and um, and his meeting with the Packers um, and the restructure of of that deal. That being said, made it, it made it seem like the Packers were going to be releasing and cutting Aaron Jones. Anyways, he comes out and he tweets. He says, let me clarify the story that I wrote on Aaron Jones. The Packers met to try to reduce the salary cap. I don't know if they're asking for a pay cut. I should have made that clear. It could be a restructure. The idea is to get the cap number down. Sorry for the confusion. He owns it. Um, you know, so kudos to him coming out and, and just owning that. Hey, listen, I made a mistake. We're all human. Uh, I misrepresented the situation. We know that when it comes to Aaron Jones, there is not a more valuable guy, really, when you talk about on offense today for this Green Bay Packer offense, there's not a more valuable guy than Aaron Jones yeah. as far as like his leadership in the locker room, a whole lot of uh, different facets that he brings to the game, especially his playmaking ability. He was sorely missed this last season when he was battling some hamstring injuries. We know that he's important, but here's here's my take on it. We also know that Aaron Jones looked incredibly good at the end of the season because he had fresh legs. He isn't getting any, any younger, okay? So he is carrying a $12 million um, cap hit on him when we start looking ahead to this season. So if the Packers were to cut him over the next two years, they would save a total of $12 million. That is not a direction the Packers are going to go. That's not a direction that I, I – uh, um, I think the Packers should go. They absolutely need to retain Aaron Jones. They need to keep him on the Packers squad. That being said, when we start looking at some of their depth chart and Aaron Jones and 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 A.J. Dillon and uh, guys like Emmanuel Wilson. Okay, so A.J. Dillon, we do know he is going to be gone. That is it. That is the inevitable. A.J. Dillon is not going to be with the Packers. Packers can get that A.J. Dillon type back out there in the draft. Um, but when we start talking about a guy like Aaron Jones, Aaron Jones, on the other hand, again, he's owed $12 million. Packers are looking to reduce that cap. Um, they're looking to free up some space because they want to add some free agent, free agents out there, especially when we start looking at the defensive side of the ball. Aaron Jones, again, is not getting any younger. He's going to be one of the top three highest paid running backs, uh, I think, with the likes of uh, Nick Chubb and Christian McCaffrey, and then it's Aaron Jones, right? All around $12 million this season he is projected to make. And if, so if Aaron Jones were to hit the free agent market, would he command $12 million, a one-year $12 million deal? Would Drew Rosenhaus be able to get that out in the market? No. The answer to that is no. There's no way Aaron Jones is getting $12 million if he hits the market. So the Packers are hoping to bring that number down. They're meeting with him. They're meeting with his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, to bring that cap number down. Could he get $9 million, $10 million? Potentially. Okay, so I think even if they can lower that number down to $12 million, that would be fantastic. Or even restructure a deal to where he gets $12 million over the next two years. The Packers look to the draft get a guy in there to to really offset his workload when we start talking Aaron Jones and his age and he's going to be hitting 30 in December maybe they bring in a guy that is going to be able to add a lot of um value this season um I, we've all talked about a couple of those guys in the draft that, that we think the Packers should go I think the Packers are going to absolutely 100% come up with a restructure for Aaron Jones. I think both sides are wanting that. It's just settling on that number. What's that number going to be? Aaron Jones isn't going anywhere. I would be completely shocked if he goes anywhere. Aaron Jones is going to stay and remain a Packer like he wants to. So the Packers, I think, use either their second pick in the second round or an early third round, their first pick in the third round to get a running back. And who that is, Time will tell. Brian Gutekunst, um, I, I know, has decent vision and 
especially when we start talking about the the draft. So I trust that Brian Gutekunst is going to get that guy in there to help Aaron Jones. Is it going to be an Aaron Jones type of back, or is it going to be somebody like an A.J. Dillon type of guy, like an Allen out of Wisconsin that can go and just and just get those short short in goal type situations a game manager that can go out there and just uh, once the you know your opposing defense is just worn down is he looking for that back to get in there and just be explosive and just wear you down okay he's looking for a bigger back from what i understand what brian kudikins is looking for so again depending on where the packers fall um you know with with a restructure of aaron jones's contract Either way, I think that they're going to come to a situation to where they save a couple million dollars um, and add that to the cap space to hopefully get um, a free agent out there. And for those who are saying, man, the Packers, they just don't go get those free agents. Yes, he, they do. OK, it's just not that often when we start talking about who the Packers got, you know, we've been the last five years. We've got Zadarius Smith, Preston Smith, Adrian Amos. Those are some big names that added. Um, made some contributions to this Packer team. So I think the Packers and Brian Gutekunst are going to be looking for a guy to, to, to add a whole lot of value. When we start talking free agents out there, there are quite a few out there for the Packers to go and get. They just need the money to do that. Hence them meeting with Aaron Jones and his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, to restructure something. Aaron Jones isn't going anywhere. Um, so... It's left for um, running backs like Emmanuel Wilson and whoever they get in the draft, and then maybe they get an undrafted free agent to add just that depth to their running back room. Leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think out there. Who are the Packers going to either get um, or should the Packers um, move on from Aaron Jones? Is there anybody that's out there thinking that the Packers need to move on from Aaron Jones? I would be shocked if there is because Aaron Jones is a super talent. Go Pack Go.